Hello everyone, I'm Philip, and today I'm here to talk about something that is kind of silly, but uh, yeah, <laughs> probably not at all important to anyone, but I thought maybe someone out there would uh, share my sentiment and share my, uh, my point of view on this uh, topic. I just purchased my first safety razor this right here. Uh, but yeah, I purchased this and I have a box of replacement blades here. I purchased this mainly because as you can see, the hair situation is just a mess. And I have been shaving my head with a, like a, a Mach 3. I'm killing the razor, like the razor head after like two, maybe three uh, head shaves. And I saw that uh, a couple people on YouTube actually use safety razors on their head and they recommend them saying that's the best thing you can do um, to prevent irritation and get a close shave. What's amusing is that I am absolutely terrified to use it. I've had it for about a week now. It took me months to pick this up. My buddy TJ uses these, this exact brand and uh, blade effect. That's how I uh, uh, got them. So uh, TJ pointed me in the direction of these and I uh, had them in my watch list for about six months, maybe. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, the thought of using a safety razor absolutely terrifies me. I'm afraid I'm just going to like cut my face off <laughs> or I don't say scalp myself. That's extreme, but I'm afraid of hurting myself, which is silly. It's silly because it, it, it's essentially the same components of a regular like razor. My imagination is too, like, I've always been proud of my imagination, but I think sometimes my imagination is too vivid and the images I have of me using this are absolutely terrifying. So yeah, that's why <laughs> it's taken me for the better part of a year to buy one of these and to, uh, I've had it in the bathroom for about a week now. My face isn't ready yet. Because um, if I shave too soon, uh, it will get irritated. If I shave, if I wait too long and let it grow in too much, I uh, just break out in a rash. Because I'm allergic to myself, apparently. It's the weirdest thing. I'm allergic to everything, including me. So this isn't right, but my head absolutely needs to be shaved. It feels really uncomfortable right now. I haven't taken this out of the box yet. So there is the safety razor. And what else do we have? I think it also comes with blades, but I'm not using those. But yeah, hands here are the, are the blades but I will not be using those because apparently they're not very good. But I have these Astra Superior Platinum Double Edge. I don't know, y'all. It's just like the thought of a razor blade just like gives me the willies. I, it's so, it's dumb because it's, 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 I guess it's visceral. I've also heard horror stories like if you're shaving and this part comes undone, the razor will become loose and you can like just, uh, I'm doing it to myself. Ugh. But I mean, it's a nice razor though. It's heavy. I wish the handle was a little longer. So I'm gonna have to train myself to hold it a little higher maybe. Um, I guess I guess that'd be my only complaint is that the razor handle is a little small, which I'm not a tall person. I'm barely 5'7". So I'm sure people who are like 6'2 use these no problem. But my problem, my issue is like I hold a razor like this historically. And I can just see like this coming unscrewed if with, you know, in use. So like you open this like this and then you drop the razor in and shut it. I am sweating, y'all. I'm sweating. Feel free to roast me in the comments. I don't want to pay like that much money for <laughs> a replacement razor head. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's just a lot of money to, uh, to spend. And th this just seemed more economical because you have the razor already and a bajillion of blades. I don't know how many blades come in this. Five. So you got five in a package. I have a hundred. I have a hundred blades here. Let's say one of these dulled per week. Let's say I went through one a week. I would still have enough for almost two years. So while we're looking this up, uh, do I feel silly about my brain functioning with this? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I wanted to share it with the world just because anyone out there is either considering buying one or has the same hangups as me or is thinking about shaving your head and you don't want to like just burn through your typical, you know, razor cartridges like I have been. This box right now, is a $9.99. It is $6.99 if you have Prime. That is a fantastic deal for two years worth of blades. Imagine how much money you're saving. Holy smokes. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to put this in here. Do not, do not wipe blades. Why would you do that? Who's Who has done that? 
Who's decided I should wipe this razor blade? All right, so the packaging looks like this. They're each individually wrapped, if you can see that. I am gonna move the mic back a little bit, give myself some room, because I am just sweating, like, not here, just ugh, just like anxious. I'm anxious and, ugh, how do I do this? Ugh, oh, it's so scary. Ah, uh, oh no. Okay, do I do anything? Okay, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> If you are comfortable with safety razors. Also, can we talk about the irony of the name? Can we? It's like huge oxymoron. Okay. And that's it. Okay. It's in there. It's in there now. It doesn't feel like it is out far enough though. I don't want to. So in my head, the blade was kind of sticking out farther. I guess in my head, the blade was bigger than it uh, actually is. So here's the uh, safety razor all loaded up and ready to go. I'm going to watch some videos. I've heard you need to use it at, a, at an angle, at, a, at like a very precise angle to avoid cutting yourself. So we're gonna treat this like homework. We're gonna watch some videos. And uh, yeah, part two will be in the uh, bathroom. As I try this out for the first time, I will not be shaving my head with this to start. I will be shaving my face. This is, a, this, this is I'm just, I'm, I'm looking, this is so intimidating. It's just looking at this like, all right, so this is going to end part one of just showing, talking about it and showing it to you. And um, yeah, I am absolutely terrified that I'm going to twist the, untwist that while I'm, I'm going to have to learn how to shave with like no pinky, like do it very proper with my pinky up. Okay, um, I'm stalling at this point. So yeah, part two will be me almost hitting myself in the eye with this. We're going to fast forward to the future now. And part two of me using this and probably crying at the same time. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it has been some time later, actually quite a bit of time later. Let's actually see how long it's been. <laughs> how long has my cowardice lasted for? <laughs> oh my God. I thought this was like a month ago. It is officially now as of recording, uh, July 12th, 2021. I thought I filmed the first video where I was showing the safety razor. I thought I filmed that in June, like mid-June. No, I filmed that May 27th. Holy crap, it's been like a month and a half. Uh, so my cowardice has lasted about a month and a half. I say cowardice because I've still not used the safety razor yet. It isn't to say I didn't do homework, I did. I learned about how to load it properly. I watched people using one, what angle to hold it at. Um, I watched a lot of videos, but every time I went to use it, I just got freaked out by, I just, it's stupid. I mean, I know it's stupid. It's, it's, it's a legitimately the same thing as a cartridge razor, but I think it's just the, I don't, I guess the mental association with a razor blade, maybe? I don't know. I can't keep using cartridge razors on my head, which I need to shave very soon. I want to make the safety razor kind of thing work with the uh, replaceable blades. And please feel free to roast me in the comments. I know I am, I'm less of a man. And what's funny is like, isn't that, isn't, isn't the traditional safety razor like what uh, I think was Gillette invented? So that was the uh, that was the style of razor. It's been around forever, so it, it it clearly works. But I've been conditioned with cartridge razors like Mach three. That's what I use. I have been saving for the better part of apparently a month and a half, and I purchased something that I hope will be an investment that will meet me halfway between safety razor and what I'm used to with a uh, cartridge razor, in particular the way the Mach three is set up. Because when I hold my Mach three, I hold it. Let me go grab one. This is the safety razor that I purchased the same blade that I loaded. The issue I'm having is when I shave, I usually put my finger for whatever reason on the back of the thing here and I shave to kind of guide it and put pressure down, which you don't do with this. Well, A, you don't put your finger here because there's a blade there, but you don't put pressure down. You let the razor do it for you. So I, so I said, I purchased something that I hope is a middleman between these two. Upon doing lots more, I don't take any purchases lightly, especially ones like this. So this came in the mail today and yeah, let's see what we got going on. And the side looks like this, and we have the leaf razor and the twig razor. Um, I got the combo deal. Got these two, uh, and I got them both in chrome because apparently that is the most durable finish. And yeah, and maybe I'm just a sucker for marketing. I don't know. This isn't, and this isn't obviously not a paid sponsorship in any way. This is not a paid anything. I am not a big enough channel to be sponsored. I purchased these out of my own pocket. I said, oh, that's heavy. This is the twig. And 
This is a fixed head. And I got this one. Ooh, that comes off very easily. That's going to worry me. I'm going to have to be careful holding this because I'm afraid like if I'm using it, I'm going to unscrew it because this part, this part here is what raises that up and down. And I'm also a little uh, nervous about, I'm also nervous about bending razor blades in half. <laughs> I, something about razor blades, man. They freak me out. And then this is the leaf razor right here. And it comes with razor blades. Both of them do, but I'm not going to use these ones. I have that big pack of Astra razor blades that I purchased with the uh, safety razor. That's what I put in there in the last part. I, I settled on this one because it has a three blade capability like the Mach 3. It is similarly shaped like the Mach 3. So if I want to have my, well, I have to be careful of that, but if I want to have my finger up here to guide, I can. Probably won't if I have like right here, if anything. I will not be using all three blades on it. At first, I'll probably use the top two. And I watch a lot of videos, not just on this, but on products like this. Like there's one in Germany that is really, really close to this that I considered getting. So yes, these are the new purchases that uh, I'm hoping will work out. The idea is this will be the head shave razor. This will be the face shave razor. That's just, this is just way too big. This head part here is just that's massive but this is a really good size for shaving the face i'm a little worried about like you know i don't have much of an adam's apple anymore due to the accident and my head being pushed farther forward we'll see we'll see I, this is a little smaller i knew it wasn't going to be this length but i thought it was gonna be like a list a little taller i wish they sold like a uh <laughs> an attachment you could put so this is going to take some getting used to i'm hoping that i just didn't buy a gimmick as i said i watched a lot of videos did a lot of research and decided on this just because it was what I felt. Oh, wow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping that this will work out. This isn't gimmicky. And uh, as I said, I just, I decided on this because it was the closest thing to my Mach 3. And this is like a safety razor here, but I like that it's angled. So I don't have to like find the angle because it's already angled for me. So yes, I'm going to uh, attempt to load these. <laughs> and in the next part of the video, we will be actually trying this one out. Or possibly this one. We, we, we might try them both on my face. I'm not shaving my head with this sleek bad girl yet because uh, I want to get comfortable with it first. I want to get, you know, used to it. And I think I might just shave my face with both of these, like one side and the, do like use this on one side, use this on the other, just to get used to it. And I might do that for a while before I go full on head shaving with it once I'm comfortable because I don't want to be slicing up my head using blades that are, you know, much sharper than. So that is the update of my cowardice and my purchase in said cowardice. If you have either of these, then you know what I'm uh, what I'm in for as far as the experience. I was just going to, as I said, I was just going to get the leaf for my head, but then I saw the twig and then, you know, the, the, the package deal. And if I can make it work, you know, head razor, face razor. So, you know, head shave, face shave. And then I'll then I'll be fully, fully 100% away from cartridge razors completely, which is what I want. And it's another big reason I didn't mind spending the extra money because the uh, amount of money I'm spending on cartridges from shaving my head has gone up significantly. And I can buy a hundred pack of razors, break them in half. You got 200, you know, that's a, in between these two, you know, I'll be using three razors per. It's going to last me a while. And in the end, I'm going to be saving money. I think I'll take like, six, seven months, I think, of using this before I even out. But from then on, it's all profit because I won't, I won't be buying this anymore. I'll be sticking with this, hopefully. So yes, that is the update on all the shenanigans with my razor adventure, my safety razor adventure. Hopefully it's this money well spent. Hopefully this works out like I see it in my head and hopefully I can get accustomed to it. And uh, yeah, so after I figure out how to snap a blade in half without hurting myself and then learn how to load these, yay YouTube, we'll do the next part of me shaving with both of these here and hopefully that will not be a month and a half i need to shave today because this is driving me crazy so uh yes next video will be me actually shaving with the razor and it will unfortunately be in silence because our bathroom vent and light are the same switch so uh it's either i do it in darkness and you can hear me not doing that or i do it with a light on and it's just going to be I'll, I'll find some nice music to play while I attempt this. And then and after that, I'll get my thoughts on using these for the first time. So let's go to the video of me in the future shaving my face, which hopefully is not a month and a half from now. Go.
All right, we are back. It is post shave, literally. I just shaved, my shirt is still wet. Usually I shave, you know, in the shower, historically with uh, the Mach 3, but I'm not doing that with the new razors. Before we go on with that, let's throw the hat back on because I need a head shave in the worst way. I've been waiting. And so the glass is back on so I can actually see what I'm doing. So initial thoughts. It was, and it's gonna sound again, like I'm a giant wimp, but it was terrifying. I have, all, I have all this stuff here. Uh, it's the same exact thing as this. It is, but it's just, you know, I put the razor blade in it. So it's like, this is a razor blade. This is a razor blade. Oh my God. And then as you saw, I got myself some new products. I got a peppermint shaving cream, which feels amazing. Um, I like peppermint in general. And I got myself this nifty, nifty brush that is on this nifty stand that is still wet. Everything's still wet because we just shaved my desk is now wet. Because I figured if I was going to do this, we're going to do it proper. I don't want to use the the usual the usual shaving cream that comes in the you know, you know can. I wanted to go a more traditional route. I have never used a shaving cream like that before in my life, and I probably did it wrong. There are no instructions on the back of this. It just says, apply moderate amount with hand or brush, lather, shave, rinse, and dry. I didn't know whether you're supposed to wet this or not. If you just take a dry brush and then just mix it in the bowl as is, if you add some water to the brush, then mix it in there as is. If you, I, I, I didn't know, I've never done it before. Mistakes happen, we learn by doing, as I did with this. I will do some research <laughs> on how to use this correctly. It's still kind of sticky. But for not being able to lather it up like I would have liked, it did the job, it worked fine. This right here, the twig, is freaking amazing. This is awesome. One of the reasons, oh, this is so wet. One of the reasons I got this one is because it's on the same kind of slanty, well, this is more slanted, but you know what I mean? Like this is more slanty than like a traditional uh, safety razor, which is like, like that. So I thought with the angle, I could work with it more than a flat safety razor. And yeah, it worked, it worked great. Um, I went very slow. I went very light. It was just very, very light, very delicate. <laughs> I tried to let, I tried this as a weighty razor. I tried to let the weight of the razor glide itself, but huge fan, huge fan of this. I did as much as I could around here so I did this half of my face with this one. And then I tried to do the other half of my face with this. It was a little too springy. So I even tried to put my finger back here, you know, hopefully without twisting this incidentally to kind of give it the same kind of pressure. Not as much, not nearly as much, but it just, it wasn't as intuitive feeling. It wasn't as comfortable feeling as the twig was. But again, I'm not using this to shave my face. Now, if I purchased this alone to shave my face with, I wouldn't have been happy. I didn't like it for that. Especially this the huge piece here, like doing the top of your lip area here. No, I did what I could with the, uh, the twig. I cleaned up with around my Adam's apple, what, what is left. But I did this area and I did like right under my nose because I was not comfortable. The blade is like, the top blade is right there. The top blade is way down here. If you compare them side by side, by the time you get to the blade on this, you're, you're at the third blade of the Mach 3. So it's, and then, then there's obviously no, yeah, this is a stationary, more of a traditional safety razor kind of razor, just angled and one-sided. And I am using the Astra Platinum blades in both. Overall, I am really impressed. Like for not having had time to prep my face, for uh, not shaving in the shower, for not letting the heat and the steam, I'm amazed because this is actually closer of a shave than the Mach 3. And it would make sense because they are actual razor blades. These are also blades, but these are legit, like good quality razor blades. It's just, it's just crazy how smooth it feels. I also didn't shave against the grain. I never do. I would shave with the grain because I have very sensitive skin. If I shave against, I'll break out like crazy. But in doing my research on this, uh, except for how to use the shaving cream, <laughs> but in my research on the actual razors themselves, I heard more than once that if you use a razor, safety razor, whatever, this razor, any kind of razor that uses actual razor blades, good quality ones, that uh, it will minimize the, uh, the razor burn and the breakouts. But I'm not ready to test that theory out yet. I am perfectly satisfied with shaving uh, with a grain. And the fact that it is as smooth as it is, is just astounding to me. But overall, I'm very happy. Like I'm very just, I knew it would work, obviously. It's designed to do 
you know, its job, <laughs> shave hair. But I didn't expect it to be so smooth. I'll have to read um, a little bit more on cleaning the razors and upkeep and maintaining them. I don't really want to open them and close them over and over and over, but I'll probably have to, especially this one. This one took a while. I won't be able to give a definitive judgment on this one until I actually use it to shave my head. So this isn't any kind of like, I'm going to review this. It was just like my journey. It was just my journey in trying to find a safety razor type thing that would work for me. So it's, 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 it's stressful to know that eventually I'm going to cut myself with an actual razor blade. <laughs> it's just like, it's going to happen, you know, law of averages. But uh, so far for the first shave, I enjoyed it, even though I didn't do some stuff right. But we got it done and we were successful and we didn't cut ourselves. And yeah, I'm a huge fan of the twig uh, for your face. I would say if you, I mean, again, this is not me trying to sell you on a product. This is just my experience. If you were trying to debate one or the other, I would say get the twig for your face because it's just, it's so much easier to use. Um, I can see this being good, like around curves, which is why I got it. I said for the head, a little too much give there for the face for me at least. But then again, I'm used to the pressure that I put when I shave with this. I always, I always have my finger on the back like there. And so I'm used to that. So I think this is the uh, the finale of the journey so far. <laughs> it started out with a traditional safety razor, ended with a shave with two alternative types. If you are using a cartridge razor and you've been thinking about a safety razor, not just these, any kind of safety razor, including the one that I showed earlier in the video, like a month and a half ago, I would, I would definitely uh, recommend it. Go for it. Um, not only are you cutting down on waste, the shave is better. I will probably do a follow-up video in the future. As I've grown more comfortable using these for their intended purpose, I may actually even do my first head shave video uh, on video. It's kind of a scary thought, but in the future, I will do an update video on, you know, maybe six months from now, what I think of the product. And, uh, and I'm going to keep track of how many racers I've gone through in that time versus what I was going through with a cartridge. But that is going to wrap this one up. As always, I don't have a fancy outro, so I'll simply say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.